best privacy coin to invest in 2020 welcome back guys it's crypto rocker from rockstar trading channel in today's video guys i'll try to share with you my thoughts on the best privacy or privacy coin to invest in 2020 there's hundreds of thousands of coins i'll look at the top privacy coins and share with you the best one in my opinion to invest in so and if you're interested in cryptocurrency or blockchain or bitcoin i'm sure you'll want to diversify and look at different coins like bitcoin privacy coins platform coins you know you want to look at different coins so i want to talk about privacy coins and you see part of that i'm quite interested in myself with you know cryptocurrency bans and what happens in the future i think it's something that might interest you also i usually talk about prices and coins breaking out which coins to trade uh, this is going to be a bit more on fundamental on cryptocurrency blockchain and privacy coins uh, fungibility those sorts of things uh, but i'll also at the end of the video do my best on doing some technical analysis and finding the next coins that break out you know we've traded theta zilliqa uh, ada quite well uh, chain link previously so hopefully uh, i can share with you some good coins to trade as well so if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'm almost uh, near my 10k oh I'm, I'm hit i've hit my 10k subscribers so thank you all uh, make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i'll try to do these fundamental videos uh, probably once a week or every other week i usually make coins that are breaking out on youtube i share exactly which coins i'm trading share trading strategies um, and in our educational group we share exact levels of where to buy when to sell and exactly which coins are breaking i do live stream as well where i share live trades and how to trade them i live stream three to four times a week so highly recommend you check it out if you are interested i'll leave the links below so let's get straight into the video now so i want to start off with this so remaining anonymous which crypto privacy solution works the best and um, the reason why i'm interested in a uh, privacy coin is you know there could be if in the future there is a cryptocurrency ban or bitcoin ban you know bitcoin uh, initially got popularity in darknets uh, you know silk road where merchants sold illegal goods that's one of the reasons that people say bitcoin grew in 2013s again i'm not uh, saying that was the only reason but that is a reason that potentially helped and um, i think people will agree with me on that so if there is bans potentially in cryptocurrency i don't think there will uh, i mean i'm hugely invested in bitcoin uh, i love bitcoin and you know even though i trade i do huddle bitcoin outside of exchanges um, i would love bitcoin I would love nothing more than Bitcoin to go to a crazy high price in the future. Uh, but if there is some negative things on Bitcoin, could privacy coins have a good future? And I'll share with you the coin that I uh, personally own a little bit. And I'm not, uh, I'm not an investor. I'm mainly a trader. But there are some. I'm, I'm mainly only hodl BTC. The some of the other smaller coins that I hold. Um, you can watch my top ten uh, coins to buy video I made start of this year. You can find out some other coins that I buy for longer term trades but I'm mainly a trader that likes to get in and out of a uh, cryptocurrency quickly but i do huddle bitcoin so first was proposed uh, given you know the bitcoin uh, you can see the reason is open leisure and you can see bitcoin uh, the transactions so there was some proposal that uh, later dubbed coin joined the technology utilized and already existing principle of bitcoin that single transactions can contain many outputs and inputs that flow to and from multiple wallets uh, there result of the chain of transaction is scrambled is scrambled and external viewer tracking a wallet doesn't know to which wallet b the bitcoin was sent to a wallet b contains bitcoin pieced together from dozens of input wallets the amount of participant called the anonymity set is important for overall strength of mixing it's, it's much more difficult to track one wallet out of ten thousands than out of one so there's a couple of solutions that now i'm going to go in, in depth i will share with you the coins that i'm i think are the best the top five or top three top six coins and um, i will share with you the one coin for me as well but i want to explain uh, the reasons behind the importance of privacy coins potentially so you can see that was one of the reasons um in another solution was given by bitcoin mixers that though they utilized a similar approach there were centralized services that held custody of the bitcoin during scrambling so you know if we want decentralization that's not really good and you know you can read more about the security flaws as well so despite significant security flaws, mixes continued to be popular well into 2018. 
so that's one of the ways you know we could look at bitcoin based privacy coins again uh, hopefully there's more technology coming forward that allows that the other thing is with the tech uh, altcoin rise especially in 2017 where there was an altcoin rise i've shared stories of trading altcoins back in 2017 2018 start of 2018 where you know things would just go up like crazy and i mean literally you couldn't lose money and a lot of people that were new to trading lot uh, made a lot of money and also gave a lot back so these are some comparisons of technology and um, you can see monero zcash uh, beam bitcoin dash decreed um, um uh, monero is one that i quite like is the largest privacy coin by market capitalization it was first introduced on the market it's based on the crypto note protocol pioneered by byte coin and augmented over time by ring cta system combining ring signatures and confidential transactions cryptography so that is a uh, monero makes an effort to hide all parts of transactions send a receiver an amount and i believe monero is probably the best one for hiding it's completely private some other privacy coins are not uh, private from the research that i've done uh, apparently verge i know it's a privacy coin but i'm not sure how private it is uh, from people smarter than me I'm, I'm more of a trader that's where uh, my experience comes in i love cryptocurrency and blockchain but cryptographers and coders have said to me that you know monero um, is uh, verge could be a probably as we say it's a privacy coin but it's technically not um, again people that you know are more knowledgeable on cryptography and coding please do comment below i'm happy to have a discussion i want to make a couple more videos like this where i delve into the project and think more from an investor and, and uh, you know think about the projects and blockchain more rather than just prices i'll try to mix up i'll still do my contents on things going up and breaking out i know most people care about prices here so i'll still be doing that but i want to mix it up with one or two videos like this zcash is another coin which i like which uses zero knowledge cryptography to hide transactions at high level zero knowledge proof allows for a prover a user sending the money to conclusively demonstrate to a verifier or a blockchain node that they know a certain value without ever revealing the actual number so the one currently used by zcash is called zk snarks the largest addition to privacy coin is mimble wimble implemented in projects such as green and beam primarily uses con coin join and confidential transactions to ensure privacy uh, mimble blockchain do not have permanent addresses instead crypto is exchanged in a two-step process the sender delivers partially filled transactions information through external means such as emails and receivers must then add their own data by retransmitting um uh, the completed file transaction several other projects use conjoin a uh, coin joint variants for their privacy features dashes private send mixes coins through multiple steps of coin join so what is the price of an anonymity why are we looking at privacy protocols uh, so i've explained the reasons why but one issue that we have is scalability and that's not just for privacy coins that's for everything really it's hard to you know have decentralization scalability and speed in the same time that those are the three things that every project is going for uh, whether it's platform bitcoin whichever we're looking for how can you achieve that not you know influencing how can you scale without influencing uh, decentralization and security so monero has a dynamic block size avoiding true bottlenecks the entire blockchain still grows significantly faster in size so that's another positive for block uh, for monero zcash is a mixed blockchain containing both transparent and shield shielded uh, transactions private transactions suffer from smaller size problems to monero so again that's a positive for uh, uh, monero and you can see there's similar issues in mimble wimble as well the ability to prone a blockchain is a major a uh, factor for some researchers while monero was considered unable to scale through pruning the team released a limited uh, implementation uh, of the start of 2019 it's more like sharding than pruning due to its failure to completely remove transactions monero de developers explained on twitter that removing outputs is impossible with current technology so a uh, monero project as well i mean 
you guys could probably as i go through the video you probably see which one i'm going to explain as my favorite one uh, but uh, you will probably be able to make up your mind uh, the compromise uh, on privacy so practically decentralization and normality issues often pose a trilemma for any uh, single privacy technology the monero scores relatively well uh, monero contributor and a developer of xmr stake minus software identifies several um, weakness in the ring signature so it's not all positive over the past year the volume research into metadata leaks increased they only fix the very lowest hanging fruit the current state of affairs leaves me uncertain if the whole ring signature based family coins is viable and i'm saying that as a dev of one of them uh, there's a network uh, level metadata floating around which may or may not affect a particular user depending on their threat model so there are issues that we need to resolve for zcash and monero the dominance of transparent addresses places strong restrictions uh, i want to point that out as well as a large anonymity a set is important we don't believe there's a point of diminishing returns we share the world with billions of people each driving dozens of transactions per month hundreds and millions of businesses and institutions driving multiples more the anonymity set should be large enough to safely protect all companies and institutions so you can see the volume shielded transactions on zcash is there a clear leader so the methods um used to send cryptocurrency uh, in the dark net you can see the percentage um that's going through the dark net uh, bitcoin remains the most popular payment method as i've said um and monero is in that sense easier to use uh, i've explained uh, but uh, the difference between zcash which is arguably more resilient and anti-linkability system but, but monero have a bit of an edge to me in in terms of uses so non-criminal use cases for privacy coins as i've said people might think the private coins are just for criminal cases uh, but research have shown that china uh, china analysis chain analysis highlighted that only a little more than 10 percent of funds sent to mixers come from criminal activities complete anonymity opens door doors to illicit illicit activity that by definition cannot be investigated that's not the world we live in on the other hand complete transparency means no privacy at all that's also not a world we want to live in we believe the market decides and currently non-private privacy coins see the most momentum speaking on behalf of the company stance on a transaction privacy understandably went even further electrical coin company believes what person's ability to transact with others is fundamental right while businesses have a right to transact securely exposing information to competitors others that might wish them harm so for me uh, one thing i d would like to say is i'll read this bit then i'll share my thoughts on it uh, the compromise argument is red herring uh, people with bad intent will use whatever tools they can to do illegal things today that mostly involves the us dollar so one thing i would like to say is that if you know if something happened and they banned cryptocurrency the privacy coins are the ones that will only get used that's just a massive head i'm not saying it's going to happen but that's one thing and if people are going to have bad intentions they always find a way to to do that bad things whether you you know it's a privacy coin or not they'll always find a way to do bad things so monero stands at the top of the list this cryptocurrency's popularity has been on the rise primarily due to its ability to help and not anonymize users monero's transactions are more difficult to trace because they use ring signatures and stealth addresses i've explained that these methods help to hide the identities of the sender and the receiver additionally ring confidential transactions helps to conceal the transaction amount uh, Zcash uh, is the, if Bitcoin is like HTTP for money, Zcash is HTTPs, underlining its enhanced security and privacy features. Has implemented a cryptographic tool called Zero Knowledge Proof, uh, uh, grants and participants an option to see shield transactions. It allows participants to transact without any of them revealing their addresses to others. Also, obfuscate obsecu 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 can't even pronounce obfuscate uh, the transaction amount zcash ranks at 23rd a komodo is an interesting coin i i mean i prefer zcash i'll say that out loud focuses on making transactions more secure perhaps most important advances associated with komodo is the atomic swap dex protocol that powers p2p exchange 
the atomic swaps allows users to directly exchange different digital assets without centralized control so it is a positive for komodo verge i don't really want to talk about too much i mean this is if you talk about um you know professionalism and solving real world use cases the amount of hype they have similar to tron again i'm just sharing with you my thoughts i don't really particularly like it, especially what they were trying to do you know the biggest partnership in cryptocurrency then asking help from the community i just don't like how they go about it and like i said for smarter people than i have said that this is not truly a privacy coin and they've had issues with um, 51 percent attack as well so uh, these are the, the technology that they use uses communication over distributed network of relays and tunnels run by volunteers spread across the globe on the other hand itp i2p encrypts user data before sending it through an anonymous peer-to-peer -peer and volunteer run global distributed network as Zen, I don't know too much about Zen. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it. So while privacy is much a desired feature in the virtual world, it brings with its large criminal elements. Cryptocurrency operators have to fend off numerous hacking attempts by malicious participants. Law enforcement agency and regulators are more likely to investigate people with larger transactions. Though Bitcoin remains the most popular choice by government agencies, they've become quite good at tracing Bitcoin transactions and creating strong incentives to switch to more private coins i mean if you're negative you could think uh, if people i mean people have used monero to move a lot of money in illegal crimes so you might think that might <laughs> help the uh, price push up as well and you'll see monero come up in quite a bit of um uh, quite a bit of the if you search for privacy coins monero will come out on top uh, the, like i said hackers have opted to convert ransom stash into monero to escape scrutiny from authorities so this although might not be the best use case but that is a use case and like i've said if there's potential bans pivx i, I want to talk a little bit about pivx because that's also something that i'm interested in and also dash um i, I don't want to forget about dash have undergone name change uh, it was called these coins um it's a coin that i particularly really like it's a coin fork of bitcoin its privacy component is treated exactly as an additional feature so it's working on top of bitcoin it makes it easy to follow the ledger and transaction amounts while individual transactions can't be traced uh, privacy is also a safety feature for users that could be targeted by criminals that become aware of users holding by tracing their transactions and up prefer monero from you can get that but dash is one that i also like pivx company went if uh, went a step further towards who need privacy for their transactions pivx is trying to level playing field to make privacy a right and policy for everything they're aiming for an on-chain solution a decentralized market place based on pivx network z dex so that is something i am looking forward to in going forward so um there's loads of other coins like i said dash uh, verge uh, john mcafee made it popular and i made my, one of my most monies uh, using john mcafee's call on verge uh, that's not the point um we're looking at a project that i like more fundamentally and if you look at the top one discussed here as well it is also monero um, so you probably I'm narrowing down on the coin that I like the most if I haven't said it already you should know by now privacy coins like Monero Zcash Dash will soon be banned that's what John McAfee warns and um, I am not too sure on his uh, the way he's makes those claims privacy coins and distributed exchanges will soon be outlawed but these laws will have no more teeth than the ineffective laws against marijuana do not abdicate your rights you have absolutely the right to your financial privacy ignore unconstitutional laws so the title and what he actually said is quite different the u.s government is a huge microsoft customer so that alone gives them a lot of leverage with microsoft by using voluntary approach this would avoid legal constitutional change that direct ban would surely bring this was the approach that the u.s government used nearly cripple wiki wikileaks by asking a handful of banks paypal etc to create a financial blockade so if you look at it, that that's why we want decentralization so one power like facebook twitter google microsoft don't have as much effect so i i sort of agree uh, with uh, john mcafee there uh, on his comment although whatever you might think of him so the my favorite privacy coin is monero and like i said i do own some i'll do my technical analysis and trading strategy to get in if you're interested in a bit 
but uh, I do like Monero so how is it different just to uh, round it up this is a good article one thing I haven't mentioned is also fungibility I uh, can't remember which article I was going to talk about so uh, Bitcoin is not you can trace a Bitcoin so do you want to own a Bitcoin that was hacked whereas Monero it's same so you a uh, hundred dollar is a hundred dollar whichever way it is there's no differences um, again I'm probably not explaining fungibility as much I recommend you watch the Litecoin video that I made probably about a month or so ago about fungibility and um, that is a quite an interesting video I don't know where it is now if you go search Litecoin I think it was this one I talked about fungibility Mimble Wimble and privacy and um, that is something that I personally quite like and Monero offers that so it obscures the digital addresses of senders and receivers all, uh, as as well as the value whereas Bitcoin was initially seen as opaque as the identity of the owners of digital asset used to send and receive Bitcoin is not public but details record permanently on the blockchain we can see the, the prices of Bitcoin why is it gaining attraction so we, we talked about ransom uh, are using uh, Monero which is not the best thing but it is a different approach so if you're looking to diversify Monero is something that you could look at so if law law enforcement are worried what do regula regulators say and I'll read this bit this is quite interesting we recognize the risks with crypto assets like privacy coins being used for illicit activity uh, adding it would soon launch a consultation on bringing crypto related companies under anti-money laundering regulations Japan's financial watchdogs and sensitive to money laundering potential for privacy coins last year asked Tokyo based exchange to review its listings so who's behind Monero uh, is governed by virtual community of hundreds of developers lack central authorities if you believe in this idea of decentralization Monero takes that box a lot of cryptocurrencies don't um, XRP and some people could argue about Bitcoin Cabanas is one of the only two publicly known members of his seven person core development team. Uh, this lowers the bar uh, barriers to entry. And the downside is that criminals have started using it, stealing people's resources, putting strain on their equipment. is straight up threat. So I'll <laughs> let you guys make your mind up for that. Uh, who uses Monero for legit? Uh, for legitimate purposes data on who uses Monero and why is scarce that's a challenge for understanding the usage of any cryptocurrency even more so one designed to obscure its tracks so that's a something for all cryptocurrencies increasing use cases uh, Binance uh, uh, hasn't commented on Monero but it said it will review and evaluating coins that take in it for listing and that is a negative of that I just don't want to talk about positives for Monero if it gets delisted on main exchanges that won't be very good for Monero so anyways thank you very much for watching this video it's a long video I share with you my thoughts on fundamentally on fungibility decentralization and privacy coins um, I will end the video with a bit of analysis on XMR so it's not that interesting to be fair I'll, I'll look at XMR and a couple of coins so let me look at three coins XMR will be the actually let me look at XMR at last I'll look at Zcash because that is another big coin so it's not really doing much if you ask me um, it's like similar to a lot of coins if it can break out um, I would be interested in it at the moment it's sort of in a triangle structure there might be a trading opportunity on a breakout of this I'll draw my Fibonacci's to get the exact zone I'll be looking for yeah the Fibonacci's are on there it's the 236 zone if there is a breakout here you could look to trade Zcash um, that would be a trade I would be looking for so Zcash would be one uh, XVG is one of the coins that is getting some news and it's pumping so um, it is a coin that is coming into a level that you could be looking to trade let me find Verge against Binance I will be looking to buy around the daily moving average um, around this zone could be a potential buying zone um, XRP this could be a potential buying zone for XVG Verge I don't particularly like this coin but it's pulling into a zone uh, maybe even for a bounce I think it will at least get a little bounce here so go on to the hourly time frame and look for a trade 
Finally, I'll finish off with XMR. Uh, that is the main coin that I said is my favorite. It's literally done nothing. That's why I wanted to look at a few other coins. It is at supports. So if you own some, that's fine. If we break below this support, guys, I won't be holding this coin. Even if you love this coin, it could go a lot lower. When we break support like this, you can see it can drop a lot, lot lower. So be wary of that. I know I said I like it. Potential head and shoulders breakdown. So be wary of that. I'll also have a look at XMR USD. Um, XMR USD is literally just going sideways. Um, if we break above the US dollar level, I think it's in around the mid range sort of level. Yeah, above 618, there could be a trading opportunity available. Similarly, this would depend on Bitcoin moving, breaking out. Uh, USD usually tends uh, trends strongly with bitcoin if we get a breakout above 618 fibonacci you can look for a trade so uh, the breakout that i'm looking for is around above let's say 70 72 73 level is where i'd be 75 i want to say just to clear up because there's some spikes into 73s clear breakout to 75 and a pullback to the hourly four hourly moving average you can look to get in um if you're new to trading make sure you have a strategy don't just buy and sell coins because you want to make sure you have a strategy there's a course available for you uh, if you join the group uh, you can get access to that at the moment you can check out the group for less than 30 pounds a month and there's also an offer on the yearly one as well uh, it's not 200 pounds it's 160 i'll leave the links below if you're interested if not guys make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button thank you all for watching my videos for over two years i uh, really appreciate all you supporting me and hopefully uh, you continue to support me i'll continue providing content on trading and fundamentals and cryptocurrency and blockchain uh, if you want to take your trading to the next level you can check out the group if not guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll continue to provide videos uh, to end the video my question to you guys is what is your favorite coin a privacy coin comment below your favorite privacy coin and why and let's have a discussion if you've got any suggestions for me throughout the video or any coins that you want me to look at in detail uh, let me know message me or comment below i will take a link in the future videos if there's enough demand so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel comment below your thoughts on the best cryptocurrency best private crypto cryptocurrency and let's have a discussion so thank you very much and i'll see you guys soon.